everybody. I just, uh, having my coffee. My daughter's still sleeping. It's Saturday and I'm off today. So I'm letting her sleep in and it's like 8.20. I just, I couldn't stay in bed any longer. So I had to get up and have some coffee. And what sucks is that I have like a raspy voice because I left the fan on all night blowing on me. So, you know, and it's scary because as a healthcare provider, you overanalyze every single symptom, everything you're feeling. So it's like, okay, do I have a sore throat because of this dumbass virus that I'm exposed to all the time, or is it allergies, or is it the fan? And I'm pretty sure in my case it's the fan and the allergies because I don't have a fever and I otherwise feel fine. So I'm gonna have my coffee. And I'm gonna chat with you guys for a minute. So I just wanna show you this thing that I bought um, on Amazon. It's a Muku, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Muku portable hot cold espresso maker. Um, I brought it to work with me yesterday and I tried to use it and I, I don't think I was doing it right, but I just, um, I just took it apart and you know, washed it again with uh, home water and stuff and it's sitting on my counter drying. So um, I tried it again this morning and I made a shot of espresso and I put it in my coffee because I didn't want to waste it. But um, I, think I, I think I got it right this time. So I'll show you a little clip over here of me figuring it out. <laughs> it's kind of exciting. But anyway, what you do is like, comes with its own cup. So you can, um, you know, that's where the coffee is made. And then um, this is the part where you put the pods in and I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna waste another pod, but these are little Nespresso pods that I bought. I bought vanilla, chocolate, and um, caramel. So they pretty much, they go in and then there's those little spikes that spike um, the pod and you put it in there. And then there's this piece where you can see the little spikies and it goes on top. And so, so pod goes in there, the other piece goes in here. Um, pretty cool. Screw it on here, and then this is the pump. It, you know, that's where you put the boiling water. This goes on, and then you just pump your coffee, and it comes out here. Oh, this is like a life changer for work because then we don't have to go out for coffee, and um, you know, more more of a potential to be exposed to something out there. So that's pretty convenient. And then I usually, um, I was taking, you can buy these little um, creamers at the grocery store. They're portable so they can go with you. Or you can just buy like cream or milk and keep that in the fridge at work. Because with this pump too, you can actually froth your creamer. So that's pretty neat. But anyway, um, so I just wanted to chat with you guys. How's everyone holding up on, um, on social isolation? Me, um, <clears throat> I live alone with my daughter and for the most part, she's always on FaceTime with her friends. So I'm left to twiddle my thumbs and clean the house. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. Um, I love to cook, but I haven't been really cooking much like gourmet meals because I'm not a lot, I can't have company and I don't wanna be eating the same thing every day. So I've been trying to stick with simple and expensive things that um, I wouldn't mind eating a few days in a row. So I am still putting out what's for dinner. They might not be as interesting as they were in the past, but we'll get there. We'll get there when this is all over. And so yeah, but I need to clean my bathrooms today. That's on my list. And uh, my daughter's gonna be helping out with the chores today. She's gonna vacuum and dust. And that's gonna be the plan. So um, at our new office, there is a um, like an Italian pizza place next door. And I mean, it's just, how can you not like be tempted by this place? I actually um, brought some food home with me from work last night. I don't know which way the camera, is it lit there? Maybe, I don't know. But anyway, I brought some food home with me last night 
and I've always been a little skeptical about takeout, but I did it very carefully. I, they put it in like this cardboard um, carrying thing, you know, like how normally a takeout place does. And everything else was in styrofoam except for like the hot meals. Um, they were in like those tin foil, like Italian stores do. So what I did was like um, put it on the counter in a clean spot where I, that I could disinfect afterwards. And I lined up, I'll show you. Um, I lined up on the countertop, my Tupperware open so that I could just take it and dump it. So what I did was I lined up the Tupperware, I took each container and I dumped it individually into the containers. And then I threw all the portable, like the, you know, the takeout containers away into the garbage can immediately. And I put the cardboard outside and then I, um, disinfected the countertop and washed my hands. So we know, as, as far as we know, um, they're saying that this is not a foodborne illness. So um, eating takeout is okay, as far as the media and the CDC have already said. So I was, I was pleased with the food and I was happy to have takeout and, and the Italian food was great. I was happy to not cook. I was happy to have um, that meal. So I ate fried galama, I ate, um, Penny all vodka and this one had bacon in it. It was it was different, but it was good and I had shrimp parm and Spaghetti that came with it. I only had a little of each so if it sounds like I'm eating like a gabon I I didn't eat that much food I just I the reason why I got so much is because I wanted to have some for a couple of days, so um, And that was that um, there was some bread Some salad so, um, my daughter likes to eat fried clams, so I got the fried galama for her to taste. Today, she wants to try sushi. I have to see if there's any sushi places open by me, because I really was craving Chinese food last week, and when I called, called like four or five different places, and nothing was open. So, no Chinese food. But... From what I, I saw on our township's chatter page, there is one that's open and this place is kind of like, they have sushi. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order like one sushi that doesn't have raw fish. So maybe she'll like that one and then maybe one that's like your traditional sushi. And then we'll see what she likes. But um, as far as anything else, like I have been trying to walk every day. Um, yesterday at work, I did laps around the building um, sometimes I could do it all at once if we don't have a call. Sometimes I have to break it up. And I try to do at least 30 minutes on my Apple Watch, but um, I like to do miles too. So yesterday I was able to get in three and a half miles. So I thought that was great. And it wound up being like 45 minutes worth of activity. And the way that works is that Apple, like according to your heart rate, if you're in the fat burning zone, they count it as activity. So. It really does help me, help motivate me get out there and move to have this Apple Watch, so it's great. So if anybody's out there that's my friend that has an Apple Watch, requests me, we can be fitness buddies. But anyway, um, I'm tired today, um, and I'm happy to be home in my safety bubble and um, getting stuff done around the house that I need to catch up with. I do um, have a little laundry to do and vacuuming, dusting, like I said, and I want to get out for my walk. Um, it's beautiful out. It's kind of chilly. I think it's supposed to be 55 today. I don't know, but tomorrow's Easter. And what sucks about this um, social isolation situation because of our stupid um, COVID-19, and I'm sorry, I'm bitter about it because I have to work in the shit. Oh, sorry. Um, there is not going to be a traditional Easter, but the good news is, is that I, um, because of my channel, I was able to get out earlier and, and get some things for um, my daughter's Easter basket. So if you want to see that, um, what's in her Easter basket, there is a, a video up, you know, showing you what I got for her. So that's up. And I was able to do that. So we'll have somewhat of a normal Easter morning because she'll have her gift and then <clears throat> I haven't decided if we're just gonna eat leftovers because she won't eat anything. I do have a ham in the freezer that I picked up the last time I went to the grocery store. Um, 
and I have a chuck roast. I could make Mississippi pot roast, but like I said, she won't eat it. <laughs> so I don't know what the situation for Easter dinner is going to be in our house for tomorrow, but I do have um, plenty of leftovers from the Italian place, so that's probably gonna wind up what's gonna be Easter dinner. So anyway, I hope everyone's um, doing well and you know I hope everyone's coping and if you're home with your family your husband your kids you're, you're very blessed to have the company um, I need to try to get into one of those house party apps or something and meet up with my girls I, I miss everybody um, I just uh, you know I see these memes out there on Facebook like oh god my kids are getting on my nerves and oh god my husband's getting on my nerves and just, you know, thank your lucky stars that you are able to have somebody get you through this. Because the house gets very quiet when nobody's talking to you. But I still choose joy. <laughs> um, anyway, so if anybody has any ideas about what you'd like to see on this channel, like, you know, creative ideas because I'm trying to think of stuff that I could do without leaving the house. There's only so much I can clean, but I do have cleaning to do. Um, I could film cleaning my bathrooms today, but I don't think anybody wants to see my hands in the toilet. I don't know. Let me know. Do you want to see my hands in the toilet? Some people like that kind of thing. Who knows? But anyway, um, I hope everybody has a really, really nice Easter and a, a really nice Passover and just do the right thing, guys. I, I did take a bike ride the other day with um, a friend, <clears throat> but we were very safe about it, so please don't judge me. Like, they came to the driveway, and they called us on the phone and said we're outside. So we put on our helmets, but they never came up the driveway, and we kept a very safe distance between us um, while we were riding, and we were outside. So, I mean, it was a short ride because like you can't socialize, you can't talk, you can't be close to somebody. So, but it was really nice to be able to get that human connection that I'm missing, um, you know, from afar and safely. <clears throat> My daughter was really happy to um, see her friend, but from six feet apart. I mean, it was more like 10 feet apart, honestly. Like we were very far apart. And you know, when you're riding bikes and have a helmet on and stuff like that, you just, you can't talk and chat anyway. So it's important to get out and get some exercise. You, you are allowed to walk as far as I know. In the United States, they haven't put a ban on outdoor walking like they have in France. And um, you know, just because we're isolated doesn't mean we have the right to sit on our ass and do nothing. You know, be active and I don't know if, if you're like me, but I, I feel like I want to eat everything. The stress is getting to me, like I'm shoving everything in my mouth, I'm constantly hungry. So walking outside has been um, very beneficial to me. Um, although like I have to admit, like when I'm outside and I see somebody coming my way, I like rush to the other side. And that's that's like, it's upsetting to me because in the past, like if somebody was coming at me with a doggy, I was like, oh doggy, can I pet your doggy? And now I'm just like, oh God, don't breathe on me. Don't come near me, don't breathe on me. Like, you might be sick. Um, and I feel like the world has forever changed now. The world has forever changed and human interaction has forever changed. It could either go one way. People are scared of each other and they don't wanna go near each other or when this is over and we come out of this, people will value human connection a lot more and want to be close and never take that for granted again. And I hope that's the way it goes because I know as a healthcare provider, everyone's infected. Bottom line, everyone's infected. As a single mom, everyone's infected. Oh my God. I don't want to bring this home to my kid. I don't want to get sick. I don't want to leave my kid with no parents. That's the scary part of this whole thing.
And this is not a joke. It's not a joke. I know a lot of you are using humor to deflect how scared you really are of this, and that's fine. And there's a lot of healthcare providers out there. We have dark humor, and that's how we deal with this. And okay, but you guys have to understand the healthcare providers are fucking scared. Excuse my language again. We're scared, and. We don't want to get sick. We don't want to leave our kids as orphans and we don't want we don't want to bring this home to anybody we love. So Please don't be stupid. Don't gather and don't wear a mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face, all that shit. Um Take this seriously because it is serious. People are dying, okay? All right? So just be safe and take care of yourselves because um, we need to get through this for every everybody's sanity. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm going to drink my coffee and clean my bathrooms and then go for a walk because if I sit here and dwell on this shit, my head's going to explode. Hope everyone has a happy Easter, happy Saturday, and take care of yourselves. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Uh, please... Hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. <laughs> Be safe. Bye.